question is with regards to if a person finds himself in a state of low iman, and that means he becomes easier to incline into sinning, and he's wondering what one can do in order to uplift his iman. We've agreed that uh, iman increases and decreases. What increases iman is the acts of obedience, and what decreases iman is sinning. When the person offers the prayers, automatically the iman increases, and the sins are erased, the minor sins. When the person neglects a prayer, when the person commits a sin, smokes, drinks, steals, the iman keeps getting lower and lower, and it can get to the point where it becomes a zero level. So asma believer must understand that, as Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on him, said that al-qalb is always in a state of movement. There is no stagnancy. Rather, it's either moving forward or going backward. Always moving. So if you make certain that your heart is moving forward, is acquiring what it gains more Iman, what increases the level of Iman, you're on the safe side. And he quoted what Allah said in Surah Al-Muddathir, لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يَتَقَدَّمَّ أَوْ So it's up to you if you want to move forward or if you want to go backward. So moving forward can be achieved by dhikr, dua, istighfar, send in the peace and the blessings upon the Prophet ﷺ, giving in a charity, reciting Qur'an, attending halqa tu'an, staying in the masjid, istighfar, tawbah, repentance, uh, helping others, all sorts of good deeds, whether uh, the mandated good deeds or the recommended ones, would definitely increase the iman. If the person does not do that, automatically his Iman will start decreasing. So by now you know what you need to do in order to increase your Iman beginning by making Tawbah and sincere repentance. Ramadan is approaching, it's just around the corner, and there are a lot of activities and there are a lot of things that you can do in order to increase your Iman, especially during uh, Ramadan.